guys, it's Dose64 here. Today we're back with Life's Villager episode 57. I mean, 58. Oh my gosh, sorry. Last episode, which was 57, I went and was working on the water glitching. Ow. I was trying to get a better view, but of course I'm just gonna fall. Of the water glitching. Squid farm, and you know what? I think I'm just going to. Oh, I might have to focus on that again, but I'm gonna try and see if I can just stay away from it because I think I've just been doing too much with that squid farm, and I'm just like, it's just very discouraging, costly going through the collecting like a stack of wood or two. Wait, no, I, I didn't collect two. Collecting a stack of wood, making two stacks of fences, and barely seeing anything done, because what I really want to see done is, like, a lot further. So I think I'm just going to do my best to, like, take a break from it and work on other stuff, because I need to have a bunch of emeralds, because at the end of the series, I'm going to be making an emerald house. So... I'm just going to focus on the emerald collecting part. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Almost automated squid. I mean, not squid. Oh wow, I've been saying squid farm so much that I keep why well, I say it just normally. The almost automated sugar cane farm. Then I realized sugar cane does not get broken by water. Okay, gotta take down all of this. Now, for the next level, and once I do this, I'll collect all of them, turn them on to paper. Well, I am collecting them. So, the after this, I'll turn them on to paper, sell them, then I'll start feeding the cows. Then, yeah, I'll feed the cows to make them, them more cows, but I'm not going to kill them because I don't have enough. Uh, I need ink, which is what started the whole. I was going to make an auto squid, squid killing farm. But instead of that, I think I'm going to work on the next thing, which is making a path to well, I already made the forest path, so start making the other village. So I'll turn all of this into paper. Then this. Put away the excess. Sugar cane somewhere there. And I can actually make paper out of this. Okay. Now are you fixed? You know what? I think I'll just talk to the other librarians. Hello, other librarian. Unless you want to run away from me, that is. And I'll just ran in here. Oh, 
even though you're more expensive. Okay, I might actually, before that, might want to see if this villager is fixed. <clears throat> but if not, I'm just going to go to the other one. Because this one is sell, well, it's a better trade. Are you fixed? Hello? No, you're not. Well, gotta go back to that other librarian. And I don't know if the baby villager that was in the librarian grew up or not. Well, the librarian villager is gone. I mean, yeah. I meant what I said. Okay, librarian villager in any of these places here. I think I see one. Are you a librarian? No, you're not. No, oops. Okay, where's the library? Where's the library? This villager is just... Okay. Oh, you... Buy wool. I technically need wool, but I don't think villagers sell it. What I wanted was a villager that would be a farmer or something. Oh, there's the librarian. Let's see. Will you change? Oh no, I've got to buy something from you. Let me see. What do I. Buy some glass. Will you refresh? Oh no. The villagers are both not working. No. I don't know what to do because there was a baby villager that was a librarian, unless I find that one, there's no other librarian villager to find. Doesn't, doesn't that just look great? There's just a line, instead of it taking over the entire potato place, just one line. Oh, but I can't find the villager. So I guess I'm just going to put away the sugar, well not, not sugar cane, the paper, and I'll put it in another pile because that's what I save for books. I'll just leave it here till I need, well until I'm able to sell to them because they're not working right now. Okay. Now that's the end of the first day, basically. Let me check out how this uh, force is doing here. This force seems okay. It doesn't seem out like freaky or something where creepers and everything would suddenly spawn and attack you, and nearly kill you. No, it seems. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep. Then I'm going to start cutting down some trees for the village over there. Even though I'm probably next episode, I'm probably gonna go back to the squid ink farm because that's how I get emeralds instead of focusing on building the village. Hello, do you work? Wait, what does it say here? Yeah, trace something else to unlock, but it did trace something else. For whatever reason, you're not working. <clears throat> well, 
waiting till it's night. Okay, now I can sleep. Get out here. Eat some bread. Wait, there's another librarian villager. Could that be the one? That no, that's the same one. I think we go really far now. It's not even a farmer. Well, the villager wasn't even a farmer, so that means they normally just go out that far. Which is a good thing, because that means they're going to use the village that I've made. The negative is that they could be easily targeted. There are chickens everywhere. Like, at every body of water, there's a chicken. Like, what is this? Yeah, I should actually probably keep this in my in, in my well, inventory that I could use without pressing E because this is a forest and I should be very cautious of forest because of that scary forest that has I forgot what name it gave it but oh well so I'll just Done this tree. Where is another tree to cut down? I should probably be placing saplings back so I don't lose trees or lose track of the trees I cut down. Oh, I'm lost. I just got lost. Oh no, I'm not lost. I can see the ocean, so I'm good. I think I was coming down a tree, but I lost that tree, so anyway. Get out this tree. Place the sapling. I'm gonna destroy the leaves. Oh no, not the sapling. <coughs> I'm gonna destroy the leaves because then I have a higher chance of getting well, I can get the saplings faster, and from there, I can just keep going. Cutting this tree down. Didn't get a single sapling for that tree. I think I'll get like a stack of wood. Okay. I'm getting eggs now. Down this tree. And I think I'll start building the houses because if not, the episode will end and I'll, I'll just go to working on the squid farm again without working on the houses. So, I guess I'm going to repeat the house before. I'm also going to need coarse dirt. So, 
So clock here. Horse dirt. That's all the course dirt. Okay, it's not not yet. <coughs> Sorry. It's gonna go up here through this dangerous area. Hopefully nothing shoots me or blows up or runs at me. And there's a spider! No 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 Be calm. Be calm. Let me kill you because you actually have string, which is something I need. I think this might be that might be good, but I'll make a mob spawning place somewhere else, not here. Oh, guess two trees grew. So I'm going to keep expanding this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Or that. Go up here. This will be like a part where there's like a fork in the road. It's so like right here. This would be. Maybe I should make another one right here. And the strap is going to break. There we go. Start placing the coarse dirt down. I'm not going to go into the trouble of making a shovel. I'm just going to continue with building this. Get rid of this. And I'm here at the line. Maybe there'll be like a house like right there. I don't know. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll just make it a village house. So I'll just place some dirt like five by the way down. It's going to be a lot more oak wood. This forest, the place that keeps spawning monsters, no matter how many times I try to put lights in it. <clears throat> I'm 
all the way back. Bread. And go to sleep. Wait, probably not. Probably shouldn't have a stove toy in my hand. <clears throat> just wait for it to turn to night. And just about wait for the stars, wait for the stars, there are the stars. Oh nope. There are the stars. And Okay, that is the end of this episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to leave a like and share so other people can see it. Also, leave a comment down below so I can see what you guys are thinking. This has been Joe64, and I will see you guys later.